guys, welcome. I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my 12 year old daughter and my eight year old son right here in Brooklyn, New York, and we love to share our homeschooling journey with you. Today, I'm going to be talking about the truth about using my tech lab in your homeschool. And I'm so excited to share more about my tech lab. So let's get into it. So if you have been here for any amount of time, there is a good chance that you have heard me mention my tech lab in various conversations, whether it was figuring out our homeschool plan for the year or what have you, I have mentioned my tech lab on numerous occasions. And it's because it's actually one of my daughter's favorite classes of all time in our homeschool. And we actually got introduced to my tech lab last year probably around the same time, maybe a little earlier, like in the January time frame. And she managed to take that whole class in like a semester. But from, um, cause I think she had gotten back, like back up access from semester one, but she had started in semester two. And she did that whole class within a few months. But it was really challenging for her. And, it, and if you never heard of my tech lab and you don't know what I'm talking about, my tech lab is a technology class. And it's not just like, oh, learning coding and, and doing like these little courses. It is actually like a real live online class that provides so much insight and, and helps your kids develop these amazing skills in the technology field. And my, my daughter loves it. So she did that class last year and in the fall we registered her for technology um, level two and next fall she will be in technology level three as well as she has done lots of fun little classes with them um, as well like in between. So they had some winter fun classes she's been part of and also I think some summer sessions which have been such great such a great thing. and. My tech lab is a technology class, but it's so much more than that. It has opened her up. She has found so many great friends and relationships through my tech lab that it has just been just amazing. And that's not just with like I said, like her peers and the other students that the, the um, instructors are, are simply amazing. And I do gush about them in the full written blog post, which you can find in the description box below. But they are amazing. It's um, Miss Jackie and Mr. Steven, and they are a married couple who run this class. Um, Miss Jackie has over 10 years experience in early childhood education and managing classrooms and all of that fun stuff. And Mr. Steven, he does all the tech and he is like a tech prodigy. I think he, he, he started in the... Um, in the field at like 15 years old and he's just been working in tech ever since and amazing in his own right and been just sharing this information with children and it's just great and I, I really love the way they do their class what they bring to the table how genuine they are how kind they are I love everything about it and so does my daughter so I'm really excited to share more about my tech lab with you and also have you guys register so you, your kids can experience the amazingness of my tech lab. I talked about how it's an online class. All you really need is a laptop or a desktop you that's run on Windows or Mac OS. It's re recommended that you use Google Chrome and if you have two monitors, that's great. If not, you can try using um, a tablet to watch the classes or you can do it from one screen, which is what we do. Because again, I'm in New York. We live in a tiny apartment and <laughs> that's just the way we roll. So um, it's, it's just right now the best that we can do. But um and it works. It works. My daughter manages. So if you can't have two monitors, you'll be okay. It depends on how your child works, but it is possible. 
So anyway, um, the class is our live. You can hop on. Miss Jackie will send emails 15 minutes before the class starts, so you never have to worry about forgetting. Um, so if you can hop on live, you hop on. You can ask questions in real time. You can have that fun conversations while the, you know you're learning the lessons, and that's great. But also, the classes are fully recorded, and within a few hours, usually by the end of the day, the recording is posted and you can dive into the lesson. So if you miss it or you need to review it, you got it. You got controls to speed it up, slow it down. I don't know if you'd want to slow it down. Pause it, whatever, because they are like 60 minute classes. So if you if your child doesn't have a good attention span, you might want to watch the recordings and pause so that they could move around or, you know, work pause, you know, kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's a great option to have. They also provide notes and any tips along the way. Um, when they put post the recordings, you have the option to join them for a live help session. So if you have any troubles with doing your assignments or understanding a concept, you could hop on the live help session. It's really good to show up there because you never know what other students questions um, give you insight on your, you know, your issues, your, your um, understanding for the assignments. My daughter, I think, goes to every single live help session just because she loves hearing what other people ask as well as asking her own questions and just having that community. My tech has a really great community feel to it, but I digress. Um, so they have that option of the live help classes. If you, for some reason, you still need help and you can't make it to the live help session or it wasn't enough, they do actually create, you know, will schedule one-on-one -on -one help sessions if you need it, which I think is amazing because not many classes do that and if they do that's at an extra cost usually because you know time is valuable and I think it's amazing that they genuinely care enough that that's included like I'm sure it doesn't need to be done often but that it's included or that it's even you know an option is pretty amazing and another reason why I love my tech lab because they really do go above and beyond for their students and care so much. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this because I have tried to record this video a couple of times and but I get too excited and uh, I just ramble on so I'm trying to control myself but anyway um, I really like how the my techs teach and they have this positive growth mindset in their in the way that they conduct their class. Um, I know that Mr. MyTech or Mr. Steven mentions many times to trust the process that things aren't going to always be perfect and it's okay to learn from your mistakes. And I really, really like that because that aligns very much with how I run my homeschool. Um, we are very much into mindfulness and growth mindset and, you know, learning and growing, but with with the positivity and not feeling like you have to be perfect, if that makes sense. So I really like that. And I think that's an added benefit because you don't find that everywhere. And they have that. Um, why would you want to teach technology in your homeschool? I know this is kind of silly because I think we all know how much technology has become more and more prevalent. I mean, regardless of this past few years, everything is pretty much online or on computers or technology has taken over and you cannot get up in the morning and not encounter some form of technology within the first five or 10 minutes from waking up unless you are intentionally blocking that technology. Technology is everywhere from our kitchen appliances to our cell phones, to televisions, to all of it. And if anything, we're going deeper and deeper into technology with the, um, on, with the metaverse and NFTs and all that crazy stuff that is now our world. Um, so why not have our kids have a deep understanding of technology and the ability to create positive change or a positive impact in the world of technology? And that's why I think 
having my tech lab added to your homeschool is super important. So my tech lab is perfect for grades three through 12. They actually offer um, credits for your high school transcript. Um, if your child is great at typing or good at typing is, is a, they can type, they can basic use basic um, things on the computer. Like, you know, they know how to open up programs and stuff. Um, I think they can start learning right away. Uh, they could take the class and be good. They also need, like I said, a pretty decent attention span while the classes are about 60 minutes long. The recordings are great to watch, but to get the most out of it, I think being able to focus it on the tasks that have to be done and having that good discipline with that is kind of important as well. So my tech lab teaches a wide range of like technology subtopics or subjects um, such as coding, programming, digital art, um, web design, virtual reality, game development, Linux, software engineering, robotics. I didn't write that in the blog post, but I know that my daughter has talked about robotics and how they, they do that. And there's just so much more that they cover in their classes. So you can definitely check out a full listing of the classes they provide and all the aspects that are in those classes um, in the description box below. In the blog post, I talk a lot about all of that and give you the links to like the actual course listings. And yeah, so you can check that out if you're interested. Um, I already talked about what my tech lab is. Um, how it's an online course and how to use it, their dashboard and all the things for navigating how to get into everything is really simple and easy to use. Um, you create a parent account and then you can then you create a student account from there so you can keep track of everything your child is doing, all the assignments that need to be submitted and so on and so forth and like the grades they get and all of that, which is great. Um, again, I said my daughter is currently in technology lab level two. I do, my daughter actually wrote a little blurb in the blog post in the description box. So you will want to check it out. She'll talk, she talks about what's covered in the class. And if you have a child who is interested in learning technology, I highly recommend um, signing up for my tech lab. There are links in the description box below so you can check out all the information that you need. Please check out that blog post. I worked hard on it and I think it's pretty good. Um, it gives you all the details more than me just rambling here. And yeah, so if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted whenever we post new videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, share with your community and I will see you soon. Have a great day and happy homeschooling.